Hello everyone and welcome to my reaction to Tenkaichi chapter 22.5. Apparently it's not chapter 23, it's just the second half of the last chapter, which I guess makes sense because I think the last chapter was like a little shorter than usual. It was only like 28 pages or something. And it looks like this chapter is only 33. So yeah, they add up to make probably like a slightly longer than average chapter. Um, this is apparently the end of the fight, which I expected. I got that vibes from the end of the last half of the chapter, I guess. Um, I haven't been given any indication of who wins. I haven't heard anyone's mad. I've actually only heard people say, yeah, this is probably the best fight. Um, so I'm going to interpret that as whatever happens, it's pretty good. So without any further ado, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get right into the chapter. We've got Kamizumi going through the air with his sword, and we've got Choco down there with his arms open uh, in the middle of crying. Because, you know, he just realized that what he's been looking for this whole time is love. Oh. Ah. At first I didn't know what was happening to you. But now... I'm getting the grasp of the gate of heaven. I got it. What? You can just do that? <laughs> what? <laughs> I know he was just copying what he was doing earlier, but are you for real? Are you fucking serious? He copied that? Oh, this guy's absurd. Choco, you're fucking ridiculous. If what you want is a stronger opponent, then I will fly to even greater heights. He does an attack rush. He manages to graze Kamizumi's shoulder. Dangerous. I see. I see how it is. What the fuck is this? Further. Ascend to even greater heights. What is this fucking flip that Choco is doing? What? What is this? I believe, I think... Is he gripping onto his feet? Is he basically, rele he's releasing his feet like a spring. This is going to be the most ridiculous kick we've ever seen. More, go even higher. He releases the kick. Jesus fucking Christ. It, it cuts through the ground, probably like across the arena. Manages to graze Kamizumi's arm again. Ah, ha, ha, ha. It hurts. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh, he's totally lost his mind. Jesus Christ. Ooh. He's switching between vacuum blades and consecutive blows, and he's getting better. <laughs> this is amazing. Speaking of quality, for the most part, this seems to be much better quality than the last two translations, which, you know, for speed translations done by people who I don't believe speak English as their first language, we're pretty decent. But this is definitely uh, quite a bit better. You can tell that they spent, like, an extra day working on it. At least, you know, compared to the last one, which came out after, like, nine hours. Between them, I wonder how far they're going to ascend. No, it's not enough. I have to go faster. Faster than sound. Faster than light. Faster than this. Wow, it opened. It opened. So cool. You're closing my 10-year effort in one go. So Choco is the greatest prodigy ever. He is a god amongst men. Good job. Just like me who returned from the realm of God. Choco-chan, you have reached it too. Unrivaled for a thousand years. What is this weird space that he is in? Wait, are these the gates of heaven? They are literally gates in space? It's space moving away, like opening doors to make way 
to the celestial realm. That's a pretty fucked visual. I love it. Sensei, your innermost gate, gate of fallen prison. Oh God. What, what does that imply for him? Is he getting even younger? I don't think he has the sideburns anymore. Uh, I guess he kind of has them, but it looks like he doesn't have them down around like his, uh, like the end of his jawline. It looks like he doesn't have it. Now. Yeah, Kamizumi's uh, Celestial Awakening is still better. Let us fly. Ora! Oh, Choco does a whole bunch of attacks. Bunch of uh, punches and kicks and palm thrusts, and Kamizumi looks like he's dodging it all. Ooh. Ooh, shit. It looks like Kamizumi cut out Choco's left eye. Damn it. Not enough. This is not nearly enough. Huh. More. Let's play. He literally looks like a kid now. <laughs> He looks like an actual child, an actual small child. I wonder if when this ends, he will just go back to being, you know, if he doesn't die, he'll just go back to being a fucking hundred year old man. Actually, will there be a recoil to this? I bet you there will be a recoil. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Ha, <laughs> Kamizumi sensei. So this is what you have become. Ito. It, are you happy about this, or are you angry about this? You kind of look shocked beyond belief. Whoa, stolen. That muscle giant stole my sensei. The, uh, he's not that funny old man anymore. He's now like a weird fucking prepubescent teen or something. You thieving cat. Finally, we get a big reaction out of the women. Not over him being about to die. I mean, maybe that is what it's about, but about how he's not old anymore. All the gates have been opened. Sensei is now just like a god. But Sensei, if this is a path you have chosen, then I will watch you without blinking even once. Alright, back to the attack rush. Not enough, not enough, not enough. Choco is literally crying. He is, his remaining eye is literally tearing up during this. It is so intense. Not enough, not enough, not enough. It's really not enough. The strength you want, I can't reach it. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, this is really good. This is a really good character rating here. Choco doesn't want to become stronger for his own sake. He wants to become stronger for Kamizumi, who loves how strong he is. So he's just... <sighs> Once again, he's just fighting to get someone else's affection. Damn, nothing's changed. Kamizumi, I know I can't beat you, but I will try my best. If you don't mind, in my final moment, please give me a hug. Of course. Now bring it on. These guys are great. These guys are great characters. They're really good. This is great stuff. Thank you, Choco. I truly love you. Now I understand. Our world. I understand all of it. We're all almost there. The peak of martial arts. I can see it right there. Not we're all. We're almost there. We're reaching the peak. We're about to hit peak. I don't know, Kamizumi. I feel like your heart's about to stop. Your brain's about to explode. It was so fun. I loved our time together. But... But I gotta be quick. After all, I am dying. This is just an extension of my life. This is surely a destiny for me to meet someone as strong as you. Because of that... Oh, fuck. The sword's moving. In very sequential fashion. Now let us go to the realm of God. At that moment, everyone had a hunch. We haven't gotten narration in a while, have we? 
Actually, no. We got Yarek in last chapter. But we haven't had any in this chapter. Up to this point, I don't think. Choco screams. The deciding blow. This is the peak of my entire life. Kamizumi takes a step and the ground behind him literally implodes. Jesus Christ. I'm glad that you'll be the one who killed me. He slashes his sword. The sword hits Choco's horn right at the center. But it looks like his sword cracks. An invisible barrier between the carotid artery. Oh shit. Did Kamizumi make a mistake? What prevented it is not Choco's reflexes, but a skeleton with abnormal hardness, the hardest bones. Ooh, ha! Kamizumi twists his sword. <laughs> he twists his sword while it's stuck in Choco's horn and it flips Choco onto his back. Breathe. I can't breathe. Kamizumi, what a great man you are. You are truly the martial god. I'm sorry I'm not good enough to be your match. I see. I knew it. You're really interesting. I thought everything had been decided, but it wasn't. I still haven't reached the peak of martial arts. Yeah, if you reached the peak of martial arts, you would have been able to just cut right through his head. Interesting. I hate to admit it. Oh, he's crying. I just wanted a little more. I want us to meet each other sooner for even one second. What? Why didn't you finish him off? Oh, sensei, don't tell me. Why are you crying? You've already won. You're the martial god. Oh yeah, he's about to die, isn't he? He can't handle it anymore. He hands him his sword. The sword. Hold your index finger tight. It was fun, but I'm already out of time. My dream of being undefeated for a thousand years. I'll leave it to you. Damn. I thought of you. I thought of you like you're my own son. This is my last wish. Wait. Please, wait a second. Oh, he grabs Kamizumi. He hugs him. It hurt, idiot. Ah, oh, no, he squeezed him too tight. See ya. You're the winner. You're the winner. Oh, Choco doesn't accept it. He doesn't want to win this. Sen Sensei! Ah. The winner of the first round's fourth match, representing the Hashiba family, Hino Choco. So it did go the way that the only way for Choco to win. Kamizumi can't handle it. He can't he he pushed himself too far. Unbelievable. We're two for three on the old anime men losing. I can't believe it. Can Choco beat Yagyu? I don't think so. I don't think so. But I can't believe it. Can you believe it? Sumo didn't lose, kind of. This was sort of like the closest thing to a draw, I guess. But how's Choco going to handle this? Because not even Choco thinks that he deserved to win this one. I'm actually going to be very curious about how the uh, the fan base reacts to this one. Because uh, Kamizumi was liked a lot more than Choco. I mean, I personally liked Kamizumi a lot more than Choco, but I'm fine with this as a way for him to go out. Because it's not like it came out of nowhere. For like the last two chapters or more, everyone was like, Hey, Kamizumi, you should fucking chill out a little bit with your whole death thing. Actually, this couldn't, he couldn't come back to life, could we? 
because of the whole fucking Celestial Awakening thing, I doubt he could do that again. Especially with the way he was looking here. I I'm pretty sure he's, he's dead dead. But yeah, that was pretty good. Um, I'd probably have to take a little bit more time to think, probably reread the fight in its entirety to really judge whether or not I think this is the best one. But, you know, it, I'd say it's definitely at least on par with uh, Fuma vs. Sagan. So, you know, more quality. Hopefully the next fight is uh, really good. In fact, I think Kojiro goes next, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see here. I believe we have the uh, the matchups pinned here on my Discord. Uh, yeah, uh, Kojiro and Hanzo will go next. So that's going to be a wacky one. That's going to be a bit crazy. Of course, the next chapter is basically just going to be intermission, I imagine. Um, it's titled Silent Uprising, which sounds pretty good. It's a pretty cool name. Um, yeah, that was a good chapter. Uh, so... That's all I've got for this month's reaction. If you enjoyed, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. I do Tenkaichi chapter reactions whenever the new chapters get translated. Um, we'd been waiting for problematic scans for, you know, that was how we were doing it like the whole last year, uh, but it seemed like they started having some delays, and these speed translations are in legible enough quality to read, so I've just been reading these in the meantime. Um... If you enjoy discussing Tenkaichi with other people, or you just enjoy the content I've produced on this channel, I highly suggest you check out my Discord server. I have a link to that down in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys around. Take care.